Okay, brethren, I am going to re-release a prayer that I put out in April 1st of last year. It's called One in Spirit in Prayer. Father, we come before you, sanctified and washed clean by the blood of our risen King and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask to be led by your Holy Spirit and pray your will be done in your perfect timing. We come together as one body, united by our love of Jesus Christ, who is the head of our body. We lift up our brethren who are suffering with attacks from our adversary, and we cancel all assignments against them and their family members in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We break the chains that the enemy has ensnared us with, our sword of truth activated by the word of God. For it is written, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and if God be for me, who can be against me? Glory to God in the highest, and praise his holy name. For he has equipped us and given us authority to trample upon the serpents and scorpions sent our way. And he has made us more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. We lift up our brethren and speak healing and peace upon their homes and family. The peace that only Jesus can give. We speak restoration upon them for what the canker worm and the locusts have taken from them. Your victory over the enemy and all things was won at the cross. And we thank you for paying our debt, a debt we can never repay. And we claim our body, the body of Christ, to be healed by your stripes. For we are one in spirit and body, united by our risen King. We thank you for never leaving or forsaking us, and for being our strength when we are weak. We pray for our brethren to come together in prayer and faith, as we know that when we pray together as one, we can break strongholds and move mountains that are hindering our walk with you. We humbly pray that you would hear our prayers. Fill us to overflowing with your everlasting water and the word of God and imprint it upon the tablet of our hearts and mind. And may the word of God forever dwell within us in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. Glory to God in the highest for he alone is worthy of praise. Trust in no man and in no woman, but put your full faith and trust in Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. As with every word, go into your prayer closets and seek confirmation from the Holy Spirit of God, as this be from him or not. And I pray that he would place his hedge of protection around each and every one of your homes, around your places of work and worship, around your children and their schools and their summer camps, around their babysitters, around your vehicles, and around your provisions. I pray that he places the same hedge of protection around you and your family, as he did around Job and his family. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. God bless you all, my family. Amen.